seven times runner up on the Challenger Tour, finally got the win a couple of days ago. How do you feel to get that and get through back? Uh, yeah, it's a big relief. Um, losing seven, seven finals was horrible to say the least. Um, I think in the end, after losing semi, seven finals, when I got to the eighth, I think I just gone past caring, to be honest. Um, so I think that helped. I was a lot more relaxed. I think the previous finals, after like three or four, just kept thinking about winning. And then I wasn't winning, so forgot about it. And Did it help when you lost some good players in finals? Like Costa Kiki and Costa Seb. These people are Dimmy, people who have gone to got to like top six in the world. Does that give you more confidence that you're getting to that kind of level? Yeah, definitely. Like a lot of people say about seven finals, but as you said, like majority of them were against those players. And I think in those weeks as well, I had to beat top players. Like a few of them would beat Lionel, Cardenas, uh, Rui Suarez. There's a few that were highly ranked. So it wasn't like I got to the final and bottled it kind of thing. It was, I always had to beat the higher people to get there. It's still frustrating. Oh, frustrating, yeah. Um, Oh, you'll get there in the end. Like people say, oh, you'll get there. Don't worry. And it's like, well, yeah, but it's a lot of finals now. Yeah, I did. Yeah, um, I did. I was almost like when you're going into tournaments and you're like, what if I do well and get to a final? Oh, like what if I lose? And I wasn't dreading, but getting to the final, I obviously wanted. But I was like, what if I lose that? Like, how am I going to deal with another one? But I got there in the end. You've been around like the top 100 in the world now for like, like two years, but kind of staying at that level. What do you think will take you to that next level, kind of top, top 80, highest ranked in the world in team sport? What's going to take you beyond that? I think being more consistent. I think I've showed periods where I can do it. Probably more belief as well. Um, I guess maybe a title win might give you that more belief. I've had those wins against those people that are there, but obviously, they're doing it more consistently. Um, so I realized like just being more consistent. Um, had a few niggles during the year and felt I got injured last year when I was at my highest. And I think, I think it takes me a long time to do stuff. It's a, always a gradual, you know, it's not like Egyptians or like people just shoot through. They'll always do it quickly. I think for me, I always take time doing stuff. So, Think just sticking at it and being more consistent. Is it annoying you kind of seeing a few of the players who you would class as like your level jumping up a little bit? The likes of like Charlie, Jacob, jumping up to around 50, 60. Do you think you should be there, but you're not? I think I do like get frustrated because I do think I should be there. I think that's what's frustrated me a lot. Um, but it doesn't annoy me that they're there because they've also. They've proved it. They've won multiple 10Ks. Um, so they've been way more consistent than the higher, hence why they're there. You seem to play your best squash when you've got a Wales top on. Playing at Europeans and World Teams and stuff. What is it about putting on the Wales shirt that it looks so good? Um, just, yeah, I love it. I think anyone from Wales, everyone from Wales is so proud to be Welsh. Um, there's all, always those people behind you, uh, behind the court supporting you. Feels like a different pressure, but a good pressure. Um, something that I've tried to, because obviously the results I've got there, to try and get up, not get up, but try and do that in PSA as well, as if it was playing for Wales. But I think no matter how my career goes, I think even if I achieve really top end stuff, on the tour, I think if I did the same for Wales, I think in a way it would mean a lot more because you feel like you're doing it for your whole country. You know, Wales teammate Joel Meek has been top 10 for quite a while just outside the airport. Is he an inspiration to you or someone that you kind of look up to the way that he goes about his business? And his yeah, definitely, 100%. Um, been fortunate to get on court with him quite a bit during the year. We did a lot before Commonwealth as well. And, um, he's always been great. He'd always message me when I'm playing and give me advice when we do train and stuff that looks good and stuff that doesn't look good. But yeah, he's definitely something to look up to. We're very lucky in Wales to obviously 
have my sister that has been top 10 on Joel, so it's a good time to appreciate it. You mentioned your sister. What's that relationship like to professional squash players? Great, yeah. I mean, I think when we're when we were younger, we would argue and even training, like dad would have to take us off court and stuff. But now we're like, we couldn't be closer. We help each other a lot. Uh, if we're both home, we train together. So yeah, I couldn't feel quite lucky to have someone so close in my family that is a professional player. Well, that come for to get you dragged off? Uh, arguing. Cheating, maybe. <laughs> Me picking a double bounce. <laughs> um, yeah, just family stuff, but siblings just fighting, yeah. What's the feeling when you see her playing? So you've been doing really well at the start of the season. What's that like watching from on Squash TV? I love it, yeah. I think there's been periods where we've both maybe done well at the same time. Um, like I see her doing that, and that pushes me on. Um, and it is something that I don't think we've actually been at the same PSA event together, which is something that is probably one of my goals. Like that would be cool to like, wherever it is, America or whatever, and travel with her and we're at the same PSA event together. It'd be nice. World champs, yeah, that'd be nice. Good barrier for you in September last year when you got the top 100 for the first time. Was that a goal for you, an immediate goal at the time? Uh, yeah, it was. I think uh, I was very close just before COVID. I think I worked out, obviously if without COVID the next few months, I think I would have done it. Um, so yeah, that was a massive goal. I kind of forgot about it once we come back because I wanted it so much. It took obviously long after COVID. So I kind of forgot about it. And then one month I was top 100 without even thinking I was going to be. Um, but yeah, it was that and winning a title was one of my like goals. Um, the challenge at all, what has that been like for you in the past couple of years? Obviously it takes you to some amazing places. Do you have any particular memories or um, I always had the best memories probably of Canada or America. The people always looked after you really well. Probably had my best results consistently there as well. Um, but yeah, there's been some amazing places and some bad places, but I think those bad places makes it quite cool as well um, like a cool place I went to was India which was quite eye-opening and that was pretty cool What's, um, how important are the monitors and the billets and people who come and watch for like smaller challenges or events sorry what was that how important are the monitors and what are your guys' billets that makes a challenge to event yeah like the billets especially I think is Brilliant, like speak to all the players, you just feel at home for the week. Um, I'm, I'm very much a homely person, so I think maybe that's why I've done well in those places. Um, just so you feel like at home. They, ha they help with a lot, obviously food, expense as well, is obviously it's hard for players to travel. Um, but yeah, there's been so many good promoters as well. Um, good crowds, like last week in Sutton was really good. Um, you know, everyone drinking. I know in Liverpool as well. That was, that was probably that was close to like a football atmosphere, which is I think what we want in squash. So yeah. Best tournament you've been to. Best tournament I've been to. It's so hard that because so many, of, the best ones I've been to probably haven't been the best sort of venue, but maybe the best atmosphere. Um, Canada was good. I would say Liverpool, purely on atmosphere. I think that was. That rowdy, like football type, in your face, people shouting. That I think that's what you want. That's what needs to take squash forward. I think. What advice would you give to someone, say, who's looking to play a challenge or events? What advice would you give them to do tour? Give it a full go. Be patient and get yourself out there wherever it takes you. Whatever event you need to go, go and explore and. Just stick at it, no matter how long it takes. Gracias. Peace.